Ladies and gentlemen, we are here for the Vixens match, the North versus South champions meeting here at Mega Bowl. We're here in uh, pretty much Richmond, Virginia at Bolero West End, formerly known as AMF Schrader Lanes. for Daffy. All right, so representing the uh, North, this is Terry Bollinger. She is the Northeast Vixen champ. Made the drive down for this match. The uh, winner of this match is, uh, th they're bowling this match for $400, so the winner gets $400. Carry to start. Very nice, very nice. So Terry starts off with a strike. So this match is going to be interesting because uh, Daphne's been bowling here, uh, multiple Mega Bowl events uh, this weekend. Terry's literally just here for this match. And so the, Daphne's got experience on the shot. And at the same time, Terry's on the left side, Daphne's on the right, so they're pretty much uh, gonna be battling each other, or battling themselves, rather, on the lanes. Four, seven leave here for Terry. Fair for Terry. So in the background of this match, you will see we are uh, here, obviously, at Mega Bowl, and this is the franchise doubles going on. Franchise cap doubles. Ooh, that was very light. Light hit for Daphne. Four, five, seven. So this match has had a shifting uh, start time uh, because uh, Daphne is in the uh, inaugural Vixens cap tag team uh, title match later today. So we had to move this up, but we didn't know if that was going to happen until last night when uh, they won the semifinals. The Savages will be taking on uh, Carolina Swag later this evening. So early open for Daphne. So Terry got down here for this match earlier than expected. And uh, Mega Bowl is at two different centers, so we've got a lot of bouncing back and forth. and. So Daphne had originally left her shoe bag um, in her husband's vehicle and had to drive back to get it before we could get this match started. But she's here, her shoe bag's here, bowling balls are here. So that's why we're able to get this started a little early. All right. 
Prepare for Daphne. See if Terry can follow up the strike she had in the first frame on this lane. Look a little inside. Yeah. Ooh. The ever popular three, six, seven, ten split. Three, six, seven, ten for Terry here. This is definitely not an easy conversion. It'll be a little easier with her being a lefty. But this is going to be tough for anybody at any skill level. Let's see if she can make a run into here. Hmm. Definitely good effort there. So three frames in, and both ladies haven't opened so far. She uh, got a little slow and really didn't get it out far enough either. So she's going to get another shot at the 2-7. Uh, the I think I called that last split wrong. Anyway, she's throwing at the 2-7 here. See if Daphne can take the early lead here. Nice strike for Daphne. So Daphne has the early lead here. The uh, lightning in the bar return area is a uh, not the best, but I, she might be throwing that TNT. Not sure what she's throwing. Daphne is a uh, rotor grip staffer. Ooh, four pin. Favorite Daphne. Love it. This is the first of a few North versus South matches we have uh, today. Later on, we also have the North versus South welter, cruiserweight, cap tag, and uncapped tag matches taking place. All right, Terry, get back on it here. Looks good. Very good. There you go. Great shot, Terry. First one of the match goes to the lefty. Here 
Here's Daphne working on a spare. All right, there's a strike. All right. All right, Daphne needs a strike here if she's going to maintain her lead. Mm, left the 10 pin. I saw her asking for it to come. She just didn't want to come around on her, so she's got to shoot the 10 pin. You've seen some of our other um, streams and YouTube videos. Daphne's pretty solid when it comes to single pins, especially on the corners. And hopefully I did not jinx her. I did not jinx her. Great spare for Daphne. Terry looking for our first turkey of the match. Looks good. Seven pin. Both ladies spare in the seventh. But Daphne currently has a four pin lead. Six ten. All right, good cover by Terry, spared it up. This is game one, folks. We're in game one. Daphne has a four pin lead. Let's see if she can build on it right here. It's a strike for Daphne, all right. So Daphne's got a 216 max if she punches out. 216 max, 200 max. 200 max for Terry. But let's see what uh, Daphne does here in the ninth. Brooklyn, Brooklyn. Daphne went Brooklyn. She's not pleased with it, but she'll She'll take the reaction. Terry just told her, I'm not using it right now. You might as well go ahead. Oh, 
Nice. Nice, uh, nice all the way through there for Terry on that strike. She's going to need to uh, punch out and put pressure on Daphne. Make Daphne do a little something in the tip. Almost left the 710. She got both the fall, 10 fell, then the seven. That's always a good feeling when uh, when they're up and then they're down. For a turkey. Ah, ring the seven. All right, so she spares us up. It'll be a 189. Daphne's sitting on a 156. Plus her next ball counts double or triple, excuse me. from Terry. As a game one winner. As long as she keeps it on the lane. Game one winner for Daphne. So if Daphne spares up the seven pin, it'll be a 205. But like the rest of the WCS matches, pin count does not mat matter for the series. It's all about game wins. And Daphne's taking an early 1-0 lead.
see Terry start off a game, game two with a spare. Daphne's first shot of game two. Looks good. Okay, fair enough. It, it, it works for me. So the ladies have voted, and they would like to just stay on lane two, where they can both they can both strike. I'm not done. The ladies get what they want. If they really wanted to do it, I'd figure out a way to make it happen. But that obviously comment from Daphne was in jest. She knows we got a bowl in both lanes. And this could go each game. The first one to figure out the left lane wins. Okay. Terry left the six spin there. Yeah. All right, Terry with the spare. So Terry's not figured out the left lane yet. She leaves a seven pin here. Let's see if she's solid on her sevens. Looks good from here. Turns her back on it. Nice spare. See if Daphne can start game two with a turkey. Yes, she does. And Daphne is using two different balls. She's got that red one, I believe, the TNT on the right lane. Um, she's throwing a darker ball on the left. Like I said earlier, the lighting, it's hard to see what it is she's throwing. But she's definitely throwing a different ball on each lane. Yes, she did hit the pocket, but a flat 10. I try to look and see what she's actually throwing, but. With it being as dark as it is here in the, here at Bolero West End, it's hard to, hard to see exactly what it is. But if I get a chance between games, I'll get up there and look and 
let you know. Ooh. She almost a little closer than the last one was to being a miss, but she got it. That's all that matters. Terry can get back in the strike column here. There's a uh, light hit. Left the 10. Another spare for Terry. Terry's going to need to throw some strikes together at some point to make up the early hold that she is currently in. Terry's first ball in the fifth. Will it be her only ball in the fifth? Looks good. There you go. All right, good job, Terry. So she's got the left lane, got a strike on it now. Strike for Daphne. Rolled her right over the second arrow. So she's perfect on the right lane this game. Through five frames. Daphne is up 22. Get a double here. Yes, she does. Very good, very good. is currently down 22 here in game two. She needs a strike here to, to keep pace. Ooh, look, got a little out. Ooh, seven bin. Yeah, she missed up about two boards further out that she needed to throw it. Saw her asking for it to get back. But the ball did not listen to her. I think 
I think she was a little worried on that one, but she kept it on the lane, got the spare. All right, 236 is Terry's max. 236 is Terry's max. Daphne, 279. But we still got a few frames to go here, so here's Daphne working on a double. Uh, flat 10 for Daphne. Here, put Daphne back up 22. All right, nice spare for Daphne. Perfect on 10 pins so far today. Only 258 is Daphne's max. 258. We're here at Bolero West End, formerly known as uh, AMF Schrader Lanes, here in Richmond, Virginia. So Daphne went, stayed with the ball. She's been throwing on the right lane. Not sure why she didn't go, why she changed balls there. She was throwing a different ball on each pair, and now she's got the TNC on both, so not sure if she saw something. That made her, made her feel like that was a good decision, but as long as she spares here, she'll still have the lead. And she does. Terry was inside on that one, but it held. You can see she was a little shocked on that one, too. She even said coming back, that, yeah, that, she was so lucky. She's about five inside than, than she needed to be for those strikes, but it held, and that's all that matters. Through nine, Terry's max is 236. 236 is Terry's max. Daphne can strike out for 247. Went Brooklyn again there. She left the six pin. That could have been that could have been a lost word. Yeah, the first strike there would have definitely shut her out. And now Terry's got going to have opportunity here.
There's a strike here. will give Daphne 227. Terry can punch out for 236. So, Terry, game two is Terry's control here. She's got a double here in the tenth, though. So Daphne's going to go up 2 0. Southeast Vixen Champs up 2 0. Terry's going to go ahead and finish this out. Good shot from Terry. She needed that on the first ball, but Daphne wins 227-213, taking a 2-0 lead into game three. back with that red ball. She struck. A little excitement getting that five pin up. Swag walk back there from Terry. Confident in that strike. It looked really good from her, too. So Terry recently became the Northeast Vixens champ. I do not believe she's defended yet in, in the North. She's, she's not defended yet. But she won the opportunity to come down here to Mega Bowl. Ooh, got slow with that one. 247 lead. 247 lead for Terry. So this is a lot of pressure for, for Terry to be in her coming down here. Knowing that Daphne uh, beat one of the, the former uh, Northeast Vixens champs. Um, and Hall of Famer, Hermie, Hermie Hannibal. Daphne took over this reign as the Southeast Vixens champ back last April. So since April, she's won out. She won the North versus South match at uh, Battle Bowl. And she has uh, her next uh, Southeast title defense is uh, Later this month, 
against Anne Marie of high caliber. Ooh. Got, got slow with that ball, left the 4 7. So I know Daphne would love to be in the situation where she can close this out as early as possible without taking her opponent for granted, because that's one thing about Daphne, she will not take anybody for granted. Uh, Daphne does have a Vixen's Cap Tag Team Championship match later this evening. But right now we're squared through two. Squared through the second frame. The arrow is about the 13 14 board. Left the four pin. Yes. All right, spare from Daphne. So both these ladies have shown they're very good spare shooters. Looks like it's just going to come down to who can strike the most. Both these ladies are very good from their respective conferences. Terry the lefty. Looks good. Nice. Very nice there. Yeah. Yeah. Terry's like, now she got to figure that one out. She got <laughs> Terry. Terry and Daphne uh, talking back and forth. They both still would like to bowl on that, on that right lane. Early 280 max. Daphne went strike, spare, spare. Over the 10 board. Nice. Crushed that one. First ball in the fifth from Daphne. Ooh, yeah, she got that, got that one inside and uh, crossed over. Didn't look good at all. You could tell by Daphne's reaction, she was not pleased with it. But now she's got a three-six spare attempt coming up. Fair from Daphne. Like, if you have to see, you have to see like a 
All right, so Terry is four in a row. Putting the pressure on Daphne here. So I'm going to create a director for the So I do all the videos. All right, so I had a, so Daphne is not throwing TNT. She's throwing a Ruby Emerald. So she's throwing on the right lane. She was throwing the remnant. I believe that she said is what she was throwing on the left. And then went went back to the Emerald. The Ruby Emerald. So Spare from Daphne. And then in the future, I don't know how she's doing these type of photos. But, uh, by any chance, do you shoot green screen? Do you ever shot like that shot on a green screen? I mean, I haven't, but I probably could. Yeah. I didn't win any wedding. Okay. Yeah. Alright. So Daphne is on a 238 max. 280 for Terry. Strike from Daphne. Terry can get five in a row here. Uh, Cinco Sacco. Shout out to Rolling Rebels. That's five in a row. in a row now. Six bagger from Terry. Hey. Terry striking on the right lane and the left lane now. That's what I'm talking about. Bear by Daphne. So both ladies clean here, but Terry's still on that 280 pace.
both these ladies are throwing it completely different on the left lane compared to the right lane. Daphne was searching for hold earlier and just wasn't able to find it. That's why she went back to that, to the red one, the red ball she's throwing. And Ben. Another 10 pin spare from Daphne. So game three here is going to go to Terry. Game three to Terry. But Daphne is still going to be up 2 1. Daphne up 2 1. We are here in uh, Richmond, Virginia at Bolero West End. Formerly known as AMF Schrader. Terry just say, when you're good, you're good. She just got that. Wasn't the prettiest strike, but it was a strike nonetheless. Let's see if she can close this out and get, a, get us a 280 here. Seven. I've thrown wrap sevens before and I'm a right-hander. That's, that's pretty bad. Terry threw that ball really well. But it's that point in us. In a heads-up match like this, they're going to have to, whoever can figure out the corners first. There from Terry, finish with the 259. Daphne probably wishes she was finishing on the left lane so she could can find the look she's been looking for, but she's got to finish one on the right lane. There's a strike, there's a ball change from Daphne. slap from Daphne there. A little frustration in the shot, a little frustration in the way this game is going. But it's okay, she's still at 2-1. Look really good. Oh, 
zone. Terry will be starting us off here in game four. Trailing 2-1 in the series, but a very impressive game three from Terry. Seven from Terry. You can tell she did not like that one. Almost immediately off her hand. She's probably happy it only left the seven because that could have been a disaster. But right, both these ladies have been really good with this. Uh, really good on the spare shooting so far. So we'll see if that streak can continue for Terry. There's a spare. All right. Five pin leave here from Daphne. It could have been a lot worse. For those wondering, yes, the savages have been known to powder people for missing the five pin. I was a victim of that a couple of times myself when I was on that team a couple years ago. Turns her back on it, easy spare. All right, so now it's decision time for Daphne. What's she going to do in this left lane? I think she picked up the same ball she used on the right lane. Flat 10. Lucky on that uh, ten frame there, uh, ten pin there. You can tell with a bless your heart reaction from Daphne on the way back. So she was glad that that fell. All right. Let's see if Terry can get back, strike him on this right lane. I think she did it. Ooh. She did really well on the right lane last game. Now I got the one, three, six, seven. Terry was aiming to get the three, but just took just took the one three off of that, left the six seven. So that's an unfortunate open for Terry there in the second frame. And she didn't throw a great ball on the left lane the first frame of this game after doing so well in game three. Hopefully she can get right back on it here and get another strike going for us.
Much better down lane. That's a strike. Very good. Yeah, that's about five boards uh, right of where she threw that first shot in the first frame. So you see Terry kind of talking to herself there. Strike from Davin. Started with two spares and a strike. Let's see if we can add to that strike count. And she went Brooklyn. Left a five pin again. Bowlers at this level, they, they know when they did something wrong. You could tell by her reaction coming back that that was that was stupid. She did did something wrong. She knew what it was, and that's all that matters is when bowlers can Learn from their mistakes quick. And this should be a spare from Daphne. And it is. Right, so Daphne still has still in control here. But Terry needs to get another strike string going. Terry. If they string them, Terry would actually win game uh, three, uh, excuse me, win game four. If Terry can strike out the rest of the way. Daphne's max is 259. 264 is Terry's current max. Hit the same spot last time. Oh, no. Pin reaction wasn't there for it. Look, looked good off her hand. But now she gets to throw at the 510. All right, 510 spare. Very nice, Terry. Yep. So that, that spare was big. That spare was big. So 
Daphne, he's got to shoot now at the 6-10. She couldn't double. And she chopped it off. Yeah, so it's uh, open from Daphne. It's going to make her max 227. Two forty two max. I believe two forty two is the max for Terry. So Terry's founders of uh, with the chance here in this game. Who looks inside? No, it held. Good job. Good job from Terry. That 510 conversion is gonna uh, could be huge in this game. Okay, so last time on the left lane, she she gets the 510 earlier, and now she's kind of one of those. Uh, all right, you did that. Now let's do this. So we're going to shoot a 710 here. Yep. That's it. So her attempt to get one of them failed. So we are uh, 36 and 20, 227 is Daphne's max. 208 is Terry's max. So the open frames have flipped back now. In favor of Daphne here in game four. Look a little outside, came back, uh, flat 10. Daphne can get the 10. She just couldn't get the 610 earlier, chopping it, but that's okay. Terry left the door open for with a 710 split. So Daphne's on a 217 max. Let's see what she does here. She opened last time on this lane. Struck, she kept that inside, looked good. Very nice adjustment from Daphne. So Terry's gonna need to strike these next two balls to, to put pressure on Daphne because Daphne's in control here, game four, already up 2-1. Seven pin. It's not fun for a lefty.
Bear there. Terry's going to put any pressure at all here in game four on Daphne. Has to be the strike here. If not, Daphne's just going to need to keep it clean the rest of the way. Let's see what she can do. Look good. She got it. All right. So Daphne's gonna have to finish strong here. Terry can't break two. Max max for her is 198. 198 is the max for Terry. Daphne's max 217. First ball of the night for Daphne. Buried it. Buried it. Strike here, we're all but clinched game four. Tenman. If anybody needs 10 pin shooting lessons, feel free to play this back and watch. Daphne has done very well on 10 pins, and you can flip it to the other side. Terry's done an excellent job on seven pins. They've had some unfortunate splits and some other misses, but they've spared the corners. So 196, 196 is going to be the max for Daphne. Terry's got a punch for 198. So Daphne needs to get a big count here. She's discussing with one of our Southeast Uncapped champs, Jack Ness, on the possible ball change. But she's going to stick with what she's been doing. They looked at the scoreboard. They saw what Terry needed to do. They don't need to go get crazy with it right here. They need to just get a good count, put the pressure on Terry to double in the tenth. So she struck going over the 17 board. She struck. It was way further inside than she wanted it to be. Trying to steal Terry's strikes on the left lane, but let's see if uh, Terry's got enough strikes left on the right. Oh, wow. Damn. Ooh. Stone nine. Wow. That was that was one of her best pocket shots on on that right lane. She did not deserve that nine pin, but bowling is not always about what you deserve. Sometimes it's just what you get. Ah, she spares it up. Throughout the, the, now she's now down three one. Down three one here in game four. I feel, feel bad for her that way. There's a great pocket shot left the nine. But she's going to finish this up. All right, strike for Terry. Yeah. All right, so we're going to have a, a, a brief break in the action as 
Uh, these lanes were set up with the uh, event going on, so they're going to restart our lanes here for the uh, next two, maybe three games, or next one, maybe three games, I guess. We're ready to get back on it. So we get the welcome to the center message, which we are uh, here at Bolero West End. And Daphne's going to start us off here in game five. Up 3-1. Right over third arrow. So both these ladies had a brief intermission between game four and game five. All right, here's our lefty. See if she can double. Looked inside. Ooh. 410. Well, she went over like the 11 board. She's been kind of, her best shots have been around seven. So she was inside there. Didn't have the hold that she needed, but. We saw her pick up the uh, 510 earlier, and she almost knocked out the 410 too. Great shot at it. All right, Daphne looking for an early double. Bringing 10. Another 10 pin spare from Daphne. Side. Yeah, that, that was over like 18 there. So Daphne's going to throw it to 610 again. She did miss this earlier. Thank you. 
And she did it again, the exact same way. Side, but it held, so she's getting a lot of hold now. That Daphne doesn't. <laughs> so Terry's getting a hold, but Daphne hasn't really been getting. And they're both on their own side of the lane, so they're not messing each other up or helping each other out. See if Terry can double here. And she does. All right. Something knocked that 10 out for her. Could not tell what pin got over there and knocked it out, but it nonetheless it fell. So, so Daphne's on her open. Strike from Daphne. Uh, let's hope for a better shot on this left wing than Daphne gave us last time. Max score wise, Daphne is trailing in this match. Or, excuse me, trailing in this game. Daphne is up 3 1 here in game five. Hopefully that open and third doesn't come back to bite her. Let's see what she does right here. Hit right at the arrows, but another 10 pin leaf. <laughs> Both ladies uh, reminding each other that the left lane sucks. Another 10 pin spare from Daphne. All right, Terry, we're going to double going for a turkey here in game five. So this is very uh, similar to game three, where Terry went, she went strike spare that game and strung him. Right now she uh, strike open three bagger, trying to make it four. No, flat seven. the first seven pin miss by Terry. And she really had a chance to put a lot of pressure on Daphne. So 
So Terry currently has a 233 max. 233 max for Terry. 237 max for Daphne. Oh, trip. Yep, trip in fours and all that good stuff. Those of you know, in the UBA know the rest of that thing. for a much needed double here in game five. Surprise, surprise, another 10 pin. We need to get a sponsor here for 10 pins. We've seen a lot of them and we've seen them convert. Finally, since Terry decided she was going to miss a seven, Daphne had a hold my beer moments and decided she was going to miss the 10 pin. So this, this match is, uh, this game is closer, closer than some of these have been. Terry trying to use a, So Terry was trying to use one of Daphne's balls on the rack, put her, put her thumb in there, and was surprised by the size and weight difference there. Strike by Terry, okay. So my first time meeting Terry was uh, was today before this match, uh, waiting to, to get it started. And I tell you what, uh, a lot of good conversation with Terry. Very nice lady. Uh, she loves bowling. In fact, she's got a uh, uh, tag title match uh, coming up here uh, for the March matches. I believe it's taking place the first weekend of, in April, I believe she said. And that's uh, her bowling with her son, her youngest son. And she's really looking forward to that. But she would love to get out of here with a win. Oh, my God. <laughs> wow. Yeah, wow. <laughs> so that was almost a 5-10 again. Then it was almost a 10, and then it was all gone. So so Daphne's max this game is a 205. So she's going to need to strike here. She's going to have any chance in this game. Mm, no. That was slow. Six pin for Devin. So we're gonna go ahead and call. We're gonna call game five. Game five to Terry. Representing Showtime. Because really Daphne can, she could punch out for a 184, but Terry's got two frames left and is already on a double, so. Barring something crazy, Terry will have game five. And a seven pin. Bear from Devin. 
So last seven pin attempt by Terry was a miss. But it would take a miss and a gutters for her to not win this game. Terry is going to win game five. Daphne is going to be up 3-2, though. 3-2 after five. As we'll be getting ready for game six. As soon as we put the finishing touches on game five. Okay, here's the four, five, seven leave by Daphne again. And this Jack uh, Ness just reminded her that is uh, not the first time we've seen that today. Back from game one, but it happened earlier. So, so, if this was a pinfall game, Terry would be in the lead by roughly 40. But WCS action, that does not matter. It's all about a win count. And so Daphne is up 3-2, 3-2 after five. Terry is going to get us started. here in game six.
Okay. Terry starts us off with the six pin leave. Nice spare by Terry. <laughs> All right, Daphne's first shot of game six. Uh, she's definitely get throwing it right now. Not sure what ball she changed to or adjusted with, but she's definitely not swinging it like she was earlier. Thus leaving the four pin. <laughs> Textbook spare from Miss Smith. On a spare. Back to that emerald. I'm up the four pin again. Two different balls, two different lanes, two. Well, I was going to say uh, two different outcomes, but it was not. Both four counts, or both four pins, rather. Terry working on a spare. See if she can get a strike here in frame two. And she does. Okay. All right. So one thing that might help Terry out now is a lot of the, the bowlers for the uh, the remaining north-south matches today uh, from the north are starting to show up. So she's getting, getting a little bit of a cheering section now. So we'll see how that uh how that plays a part here in game six and if there's going to be a game set. Flat seven. Flat seven, man. Stayed on the lane. Uh -oh. All right, so Terry's spare strike spare. Daphne's spare spare. I have an early feeling that this is going to come down to whoever can get the biggest string of strikes here. And kind of put some distance and some pressure on that one. So that was probably the worst ball Daffy has thrown all day. Leaving the four, six, seven. All 
All right. Wisely, Daphne got count. So she's got 45 and a third. Sadly, so gonna make her a 255 max. Even though it's way too early to be talking about maxes. But Terry's is 270. So Terry has the early lead here. Seven pin leave by Daphne. to back opens for the Southeast Vixens champion. Leaving the door open here in game six for the Northeast Vixens champion. Looking for a nice $400 payday. Which will be the most uh, WCS has paid out in a Vixens match this year. Strike, spare, strike. So let's see, is Terry going to continue the uh, Dutch trend or is she going to get a double here? Terry. Looked like that could have been a lot worse. But a lefty thrown at a 10 pin should be fairly automatic here. <laughs> and as predicted, Terry covers the 10. Daphne has not struck yet here this game. Let's see what she can do. Uh, ring and 10. Ring and 10. Side spare, the first uh, in a while, I think, for Daphne. Four, six, seven by Daphne again. It's 
It's not the first time we've seen that one either. All right, she took the two off. So if Terry can throw a double here in the sixth and seventh, it might be a good See, yeah, if Terry needs a strike here, she can keep her strike pace on this right lane. She could pretty much call game six. But let's see what she actually does here. All right, all right. Another strike. Here we go. Very nice. leave again. All right, she's staying on this Dutch base. Daphne, I think she needs to go ahead and be working on her ball for game seven. Strike there. All right. Love it. All right. Devin's currently looking for a different mop. I think she's got the exotic gem there. Mm. Very light, very light strike, but it's a, but it was a strike nonetheless. But but as long as Terry can uh, stay clean the rest of the way, is this this game it will be over. So we might be looking at a game seven. Got a bucket. So if she can spare this bucket, she might be okay. But if not, ninth and tenth could get really interesting. Got the spare on what's been her better lane. So now she'll come over here to lane one. 
where she's been nine sparing this entire game. See if she can get through this and put pressure on Daphne. I looked a little inside, but she got it. All right, she got the strike. First time. So Terry, Terry's max is 216. 216 for Terry. Daphne's max is 200. So this will be a big, uh, big shot here for Daphne. She needs to strike here in the first two and the tenth to put a lot of pressure on Terry. Go. No. Yep. Four pin. Oh, so excuse me, six pin. Look down at our uh, studio monitor. For a second, but the six pin for Daphne. So all Terry needs is a six count to close this out, regardless of what Daphne does here. So we are going to be tied 3-3. Three, 3-3 three. Three, three after six, going to game seven. Just got to watch these two ladies uh, finish this game out so we can get started with game seven.
All right, ladies and gentlemen, here we have it. In case the, you notice a different voice here, the Big Rod Dog is in the building. Here we have it, y'all. The, the best two words in sports, game seven, and Daphne will start off game seven. Oh, she goes, ooh, she goes a little high, trips a lot of garbage, leaves a six pin to start the match off. Yeah, for those of you who have been watching, this is a very, very good seesaw match. Uh, Daphne, you know, ran out to a 3-1 lead. She was throwing the ball pretty good. But the last couple of games have not been good. And Terry has been able to do just enough to pull out the victory to force a game seven. Daphne spares. She spares. She spares in the first frame. She spares in the first frame. And now... Terry's gonna step up to throw her first two shots. Raise back, ladies and gentlemen. I was just stepping in to uh, start off this oh so important game seven. Okay, Terry throws it. Terry gets it nice and tight. Oh, she stones a seven pin. All right. Yeah, Terry's had the belt for a little while. She defeated Hermie Hannibal to become the North champion, the North Vixens champion. Daphne's been the South Vixen champion for some time now. Ooh, she pulled that a little bit. Okay. And that's what plastic is for. To, to, so, it does, so it doesn't hook. Okay. Yeah, the ladies start out dead even. To start this is game seven. Ooh. Terry just took a nice deep breath before she picked up her ball. That's what good bowlers do. Relaxes the nerves, calms them down, just a hair. Just enough so they can relax and throw their best ball. Oh, that looks like it's going to be. Oh, okay. Yep. Okay. Looks like, looks to me like nerves are setting in just a hair. It's been a very friendly, you know, a lot of conversation, a lot of high fives, a lot of smiles, but now it's game seven. All different. Yeah, man. Game seven is a whole different animal when, when we're talking about competitive bowling. Okay, yeah, she, she makes easy work at a six pin, as any lefty should. <laughs> All right, definitely turned into a UBA event. You can hear the crowd getting a little rambunctious as Daphne goes up for her second frame. That looks pretty good. Oh, that's, that's high flush, there you go. That's high flush and you can hear, you can hear the crowd celebrate the first strike through two frames for either lady. <laughs> yeah, we're gonna get to see a lot of this north-south uh, uh, energy here coming up. We got some of uh, the south, it's got good representation from Carolina Swag here that's involved in two of the matches. So it's going to get loud. It's going to be proud. It's going it's to be some energy. Oh, most definitely, most definitely. Anybody who's been to any of the, any, been to the, to the, to the matches oh, yeah. out here, they know. One thing about the South that I, I give them all the respect in the world, even, even for the, the UBA championship matches, mm -hmm. you know, whatever team is representing the South, the other teams from the South, they come out, they show out, and they support wholeheartedly. Oh, oh, okay. Let's go. Yeah. Yes, yeah, so like, like you were saying, Paul, one of the big examples we had of that was a couple years ago 
uh, at Mega Bowl right around the, when COVID was becoming a thing, when uh, Alex Pearl came down and was taking on James Niffin for the opportunity to face the world champion the next day. Mm -hmm. And uh, Alex got up 3-2, but as the event ended with all the Southeast bowlers in the building, they all rallied behind uh, James Niffin, who was with Hitman at the time. And it just, it, it turned, it, it turns it. It's the energy they shouldn't yeah. need, but they can thrive on. Yes, most definitely. Great in this most definitely. Okay. Terry steps up in the third frame. That looks pretty good going down. Oh, yeah, she's still another, yeah, another solid seven pin for Terry. She's throwing the ball fairly well. That second shot when she left the six pin, looked like her nerves might have been settling just a hair. Yeah. Um, you know, and I, I tell people all the time, if you've never been in this type of situation to know People like to think how easy bowling is to know how nerve-wracking it can be to be standing on the approach, mm -hmm. and you know it gets quiet, but it's it sometimes there's noise, but it's just you and the pins, and you just have to relax and lay it down and throw the best ball you can throw. Back to back seven, sir. There you go. Yeah, it's a lot of like our people. They see uh, like the, the the PBA bowlers on TV where they have a, a they win a match shooting a 2-0, and everybody's like, oh, I do that in league. Da, da 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 da. They don't take into account the lights going on, the pattern that they're bowling on. There's exactly. so much more that goes to it. And even in this environment, you know, both of these ladies are better than their scores have been uh, throughout. But you know, it's the environment. The environment being different, the crowd being different, everything just is very. Uh, very nice and fresh to have, but it's very stressful at the same time. It's the very, oh, Terry steps up. This one's, this one's kind of tight. And it's, oh, high flush. High flush. Terry buries it. Terry buries it. She's currently, she's down 12 pins. She's down 12 pins as Daphne gets up to go into her fourth frame. It's funny because I've watched Daphne bowl a lot, and although she just had two very, very mediocre games for her standard of bowling, look at this shot. See what I'm saying? She just had two very mediocre games. But now, it's like this is what separates um, the queen from the crop. She, yeah. she will rise to the occasion, she'll feed off the energy, she'll focus, she'll take her time. She's already, she already knows what ball she wanna throw. She just, now she just has to execute, put the ball down where she wants to do it, let her mechanics take over and get it to the pocket. And she's done that, frames two, three, and four. She's on a turkey going into her fifth frame. Okay, that looks pretty good. Oh, that goes, yeah. Yeah, yeah, that ran a little, I ran a little high on her. She left the four pin. Daphne is like she's very solid. She she keeps good people around her that, that know her equipment as well as she does, and are able to help her kind of win the ball chains, win the move. And yeah. I mean, because she's you know like I said, she's a, she's a roto grip staffer. She got access to great equipment. Um, her you know, husband's I, a PSO. She bowls with great bowlers in league, great bowlers on her UBA franchise. Yes. Um, so she's you know this is an environment that this is for her. Game sevens are the kind of thing where the cream does like does rise to the crop, yeah. just like you said. And well, it, makes, sure. it separates the, not trying to be disrespectful, but it's, it's what separates the, the, the good from the great. Exactly. And, and this being a newer uh, environment for Terry, she's got to prove to us here, and she's got the opportunity that she could be in that same conversation. Exactly, exactly. You know, and, and it's, it's weird. It's weird because Terry is sitting in the corner by herself. She didn't have one supporter here. That's a good shot. Well, she got one at least. Ooh. Ooh, a 10 pin for a lefty. That's the worst. 10 pin for a lefty. Yeah, it's the worst. Yep. Yeah. Spare here. Ooh. Yeah. All right. That's okay. Should be a relatively easy spare for Terry here. Spare here. She's down 21 pins through five. Uh oh. Oh, okay, okay, okay. See, it just, yeah, that's, that, that's that announcer jinx. Like, we say, oh, this guy's 90% from the free throw line, and he clanks two of them. <laughs> but but she, does, she does make the seven pins. She's, she's down 22 pins through four. She, she's been great with the seven pins so far today. And that's been one thing that she's been good at. And uh, she's only missed one. Daphne's only missed one. Uh, I think, no, Daphne's missed out two 10 pins. Okay. Um, 
but they've left a lot of them, so they've got a lot of practice at them, too. So 90% is probably still a good percentage for them. Yep. All right. Terry stepping up in the sixth frame, down 22. That looks pretty good. If it holds, oh, yeah, it's high flush. That's high flush. Yeah. Hmm. A lot of noise for a cruiserweight champ. <laughs> the Malachi Moore in the building. He'll be bowling. He'll be bowling for the cruiserweight championship in a little. Yeah, he cruiserweight in a little while. That's the two fifteen and under. Yep. Oh, she gave that one some room. Nice. Very nice. Very nice. Very nice. Daphne strikes in the sixth frame to maintain her 22 pin lead. Yeah, 269 max for Daphne. Yeah, that's huge. Yeah. yeah, Daphne can max for 269. Terry maxes at 248. So basically, now is just to see who can throw the most strikes for these last four frames. Oh, I, oh, she got that one. She got that one tight. Oh, yeah, yeah. It looks like she's playing. She's playing in lanes very different too. She's that right lane. She's giving it a little more room out. She's playing it a little wider, and she's playing this left lane. She well, in those two shots anyway. She played that left lane a little tighter, and it held, and it went high flush. Yeah, but both, both these ladies uh, were struggling with trying to find hold, and yeah. Terry was able to find the hold first, and that's okay. why she was able to get some bigger games earlier. Because mm -hmm. if, we, if we were on a pin count. Uh, Terry, Terry's winning this easy if it's pin count. But she w, sure is. She but sure WCS, is. that doesn't matter. No, We're all pin about, count doesn't matter. It's, it's, all about, about, it's all about wins and losses. You can yep. win four games by one and lose three games by 100. And it doesn't matter. doesn't matter. That's light. Almost left the bucket. All right. Yeah, Terry throws a seven count, so Daphne's lead will be extended by how many pins exactly. We'll find out after the eighth frame. All right. Oh, whoa, oh, just a little trouble. Okay, she got it. She takes care. She takes care of the, what's that? The three five three five six. She takes care of the three five six. Yeah. So she, she got a hole here. She, yeah. she, she needs a strike here. She definitely needs a strike definitely. here because if Daphne strikes her next frame, she gives herself a considerable lead that she would have to she would have to open yeah. to lose. All right, come on, Terry, get a strike here. Come on, Terry! Yeah, that looks good. Yeah, that looks good. High flush for Terry. High flush for Terry. High flush. So you see them making references to the left wing, right lane. So early on, both of these ladies would have been fine if I had said, no, God, look, we're going to bowl on just lane two. They would have loved me for oh, yeah. it. You know? uh, it would have been great for me. But uh, now lane one's coming to, uh, especially for Terry, that's the lane that she's got. In lane two, she's lost. So okay. she got figure, she got to figure it back out now. Yeah, most definitely. But she's running out she's of time. She's got, she's got to relax. She's definitely running out of frames. Oh, see, like I said, she gave out with some room. Look at that. Yeah. Let's see if she let's see if she stays to form because she definitely she's giving it more room on two and 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 tighter on one. And you know that's what good bowlers do. That's what they're capable of doing anyway. Yeah. Oh yeah. Yeah. This is. Uh... Looking like the barring, barring some disaster yeah. here by Daphne this morning. We're yeah. looking at the, the, the wind column for the southeast versus northeast uh, today going in favor of the southeast. Mm -hmm. Most definitely. Let's see what Daphne can do. Yeah. She, can, she can stretch just to a 41 pin lead with a strike here. That's money. Oh, no, no, no. That one. She played. She 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 stayed to form and played it inside, yeah. but it didn't hold. Yeah, well, it didn't look like the ball speed was there. No, not at I mean, all. Not at all. Because last time she had 14 miles an hour. That time it was it was under 14. 
So I don't know, it might have a little something to do with it, in, in addition yeah. to the lane change as well. Okay, well, she left herself a relatively easy 3-6-10. She's up 38 pins she in has, the seventh. She has chopped the 6-10 twice today. Mm. So this, this is, this, I wouldn't say this is automatic. Okay. Uh, oh, okay. That whatever ball that was, that, that was a flush <laughs> flash. It held. <laughs> not the way she wanted it, but she, yeah. but she got the pins now, so. Mm. Terry, Terry has to strike here to have any chance of winning this game. She can strike out for 228. Um, yeah, she got a chance to strike out before she got the mark. Yeah, she definitely has to, yeah, she has to, yeah, she definitely has to strike out. At least, at least throw the next three to force Daphne to spare an attempt. Oh, that one looks bad. That was Jersey. Ooh, okay. Yeah, a spare, a spare here. She's got one, she's got 158 in the eighth. She's down, ooh, ooh, she's down 40, say 40, 48 pins. Yeah, it's, it's, it's a match. Yeah. It's over, so. Uh, yeah, southeast, southeast. Yeah, this is, yeah, this is it. She, she definitely, she needed to keep striking. Yeah. And uh, this, yeah, this match is over, because she can only, uh, 30, 50, yeah, 30. Thing, she can do. Well, she can go 208, actually. She can strike out for 208. Well, Daphne's not going to get her twice. Exactly. Daphne already has 206. All she needs, all she has to do is keep it on the lane, and uh, and that's a W. I'll tell you what, Terry put up a fight. You know, one of the things. Oh, yeah, most definitely. One of the things we've been, been having the issue with down in the southeast is we've got so many girls, uh, some of these vixens have been uh, intimidated by Daphne. Daphne's not a big trash talker. Daphne's not, not all that not part of the UBA. But Daphne goes out there and just puts the work in and just pounds, pounds, pounds. Oh, okay, Terry. All right, Terry. 100% official now. Oh, no, it was, it was 100% official after that eight spare. Yeah. <laughs> after that eight spare, it was pretty, it was pretty much over. Like you said, there was no way that Daphne was going to throw two gutter balls to go 206. You know what I mean? If she struck out for 208, yeah. <laughs> that wasn't going to happen. 77 to make this. If she makes this 10 pin, yeah, she can strike. She can throw a strike here for 197. Daphne already has 206 without even throwing a ball in the 10th. So she'll just she'll fill her 10th frame and um and re and retain. Well. They, they were going to retain their belts anyway, but she definitely has uh, taken the bragging rights for the South for today. And $400. $400. Okay. And $400. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Nice little chunk, nice little chunk of change, uh, you know. Way to fight, Terry. Way to fight, babe. Way to fight. Yep. It is all over. Daphne is just filling up her 10th frame. She has won the North versus South Vixens champion match. There is no uh, Vixens world champion. We got to build consistency in both the north and the south. Yes, yes. You definitely need more people. You definitely yeah. need more bowlers. Yeah. And we'll, and, we'll, and we'll make that happen. The participation's been really good in the in the south. We got to get it mirrored in the north because we, we'll be able to have. Now we have a, a, a Vixens capped tag team championship that crowns the inaugural champ tonight too. Okay. So and Daphne's got a bowl in that too. So yes, Daphne has four games earlier during Unholy. Now she's got seven, seven. games here. Yeah. And so um, she 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 hopes to not go seven again. She hopes to not go seven again. <laughs> But we'll see. We will see. All right, I'm gonna get, let Daphne get her ball put up, and I'm gonna do a little post thing with her real quick. There you go. Yeah. All right. So uh, we here. Um, congratulations, Daphne, on representing the South. Um, how's it feel to get through that? That was um, that was a little difficult. Um, one lane was hooking really early, but um, I grinded out, missed a lot of spares, but um, made it happen. <laughs> yeah, yeah, I was back there. Uh, Paul joined me for a game seven there, and you know uh, when you left the three six uh, ten there, mm -hmm. you know he was talking about it was an easy spare, and I said, Oh, Daphne's chopped the six. It. 
Yeah, I was like, no, Daphne's chopped the 6'10 twice. You know, really good on 10, pin, 10 pins a day, but the 6'10s weren't your favor today at all. Nope. Um, so I know you've already won four games. Mm -hmm. Seven now. Now you got the the first time we're going to have a kind of Vixen's Cap Tag Team Championship today. So what what are your thoughts going into that now? Um, i got to keep, I guess, the momentum from this last game. Yeah. Um, well, it was good you had some people show up here in the, for the Southeast. Yeah. Uh, we had Jack Ness uh, over there helping you out today and helping you through ball changes, and that's always good. And it was good to have the good Southeast energy in the building. Absolutely. Congratulations again. Thank you. Thank you.